Friends, as we come to our notices today, I want to invite you to read through our notices, which are available as the video description of this video, and have also been made available on our WhatsApp info groups, as well as on our Facebook pages as well. There's one I'd like to highlight for your attention today, and that is the temporary suspension of all in-person worship services and gatherings for the next few weeks. I want to instead invite you to join us for our Sunday e-worship, e-worship services, which are made available through our WhatsApp and Facebook pages as well. On our WhatsApp and Facebook pages, you'll find links to our 8 a.m. sermony service, our 9 a.m. worship e-service, as well as our Sunday notices that are made available in that space. So I want to invite you to, to use those links uh, that are available in our notices, as well as on our info groups and on our Facebook pages to access our e-services that are made available through my WhatsApp channel. Please do join us as we gather together in those spaces as a community of faith. Also want to encourage you, on the side of the page, there is a a place to comment. Simply let us know that you're joining us for worship and have a chat with each other as we gather in that space for worship with one another as well. Friends, just a a bit of a way forward for now. All of our in-person services, meetings and other gatherings are suspended until further notice. We're awaiting further further directive from the South African government. Our president said that today, the 11th of July, we'd receive further guidance from the government. So we're waiting to see what the president and the government uh, mandate will be as we go forward in this time of national lockdown risk uh, assessment level four. Once we've received that directive from the government, our leadership team will meet, that is the circuit leadership, and then the society uh, leadership will meet during the course of this coming week uh, to assess our response, and then I'll communicate further our way forward. But I do want to encourage you during this time to continue to pray. Pray for the situation that's unfolding around us at this moment. Pray for those who are bereaved and the many, many people who've lost loved ones. Perhaps we ourselves have lost loved ones at this time. Pray for the communities who are grieving and struggling with uh, both those who are infected and affected by COVID-19 and other dreaded diseases at this moment as well. Our medical system and those who are on the front line of the fight, our essential services, including those who are in our local supermarkets, making sure there's, there's food on the shelf so that we can actually eat and live at this time as well. With that said, friends, I want to commend the rest of our notices to your reading. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank those who continue to give so faithfully into the life of our church. As you give all your tithes and offerings to God, we as a church receive it and we use it for the furtherment of God's kingdom. Through sustaining the work of our church, through ministry, as well as reaching out in mission to the world at this time as well. So friends, I want to encourage you to to give of your tithes and offerings as you're able during this time using electronic means, uh, our electronic banking details are found within our, our notices and have been made available through our WhatsApp info groups as well. Friends, if you're joining us today and you're not from our community of faith, welcome again. I'm glad that you're here. But if you are part of a community of faith, I want to encourage you given to your community of faith. Because they need you and the members to give into their community of faith as much as we need our members to give into our community of faith at this time in order to sustain the ministry and the work of our church as we have the cost that are associated with ministry and mission at this abnormal time. So friends, thank you to those who continue to give. If you are struggling and you're from one of our communities of faith, please do reach out to myself. My contact details are found within our notices or one of the society stewards at the society at which you worship and will gladly assist you in getting your tithes and offerings into the life of our church at this time. A big thank you to those who continue to give. Let us commend our giving to God in prayer as we come before God as the people of God. So let's pray. Father, as your children, we we gather and we give you thanks and praise. For you continue to love us, continue to guide and direct us in this difficult time in which we find ourselves. And as a sign of love and thanks, we we give of our tithes and our offerings to you, Almighty God. And we ask that you receive it as our love gift for you. We pray, Father, that you give those who administer it wisdom, guiding and directing as they seek to use it for the sustaining work of of your church, of ministry within our church and mission as we reach out both locally and through the various structures of the Methodist Church of Southern Africa. We ask that you'd use it to 
to meet the needs, to bring healing and transformation, but also to, to allow the gospel to be preached, to bring that about. So guide us now as we seek to be your people, your community of faith. Direct us and lead us, we pray. For we ask this in your precious name, Jesus, now and always. Amen.